And let's welcome in Hannah Brass Greer, Chief Legal Counsel for Planned Parenthood. Hannah, thank you for taking some time for us this morning. Sure, thank you for having me. Your group is, is part of a lawsuit against the new Indiana abortion reversal bill. Explain to our audience why. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, this, this session is like many other sessions in Indiana where um, the legislature and the governor have decided to enact yet um, more restrictions on abortion. Um, this year includes um, what you called the so-called reversal, um, medication abortion reversal bill. And um, what we know about this is it's junk, junk science. Um, there is no such thing as abortion reversal. It is not based in medicine, is not based in science. Um, and in fact, it's the only area of medicine where the state is requiring medical providers to share inaccurate and unsafe information with their patients. We would not see that anywhere else. Um, yet, Indiana, instead of focusing on increasing access to care, has decided to enact this legislation. So I want to get into the scientific basis of this because you say it's not based on science. So explain to our audience, what do you mean by that? Um, well, there is no um, reputable medical or scientific organization that supports um, this so-called reversal um, of medication abortion. And in fact, the one study um, where researchers tried to study it, um, three women ended up in the hospital with severe hemorrhaging and they stopped the um, research immediately because it was not safe. Um, so we now have the legislature in Indiana and the governor requi requiring providers to share this information with their patients, this information that is unsafe, not based in medicine, not based in science. And that's why we're challenging this because it's unethical for our providers to have to do that and it's unconstitutional. This isn't only happening here, it's happening across the country, this, this conversation about abortion. The Supreme Court said that it will hear the Mississippi law that bans nearly all abortions after 15 weeks into pregnancy, I believe. Uh, this will be the first major abortion case before the new six to three conservative co mm -hmm. court. Do you believe the case could possibly overturn Roe v. Wade? Yeah, I think it's possible. Look, this is not a surprise to us. This is something that we've been sounding the alarm on for decades, frankly. Um, and and this um, these attacks on access to abortion have only increased in recent years. Um, just this legislative session alone across the country in almost all 50 states, there have been more than 500 um, restrictions on reproductive health care. Um, and this is just sort of the latest in this in this long term plan that anti choice legislatures and activists have had um, for, again for decades since Roe versus Wade. Their latest is now to see um, what this newly composed Supreme Court will do. Um, and we have now this 15 week ban that goes against 50 years of Supreme Court precedent. So if they are if they decide to uphold this law, we will see states like Indiana have even more severely restricted access to abortion if there exists any access at all after a case like this. And then what happens? Um, and then, you know, we do what we always do, which is we work with our patients and with our communities and our partners to get patients the care they need. If, if states like Indiana or the Supreme Court says that states can restrict access to abortion completely, that does not eliminate a, the need for abortion. Patients need access to that care, and we will do what we always do and work to be able to help them get that care. Hannah Brass-Greer, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.